Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising. A weekly tarot reading for May 6th to May 12th, uh, 2019. And bear with me guys just a second to uh, shuffle the cards and we can go straight away uh, to the spread. So uh, the first card which marks the Scorpio topic of the week, that is going to be the Two of Wands, followed by the second card which is the uh, challenges that Scorpio needs to overcome for throughout the week, this is going to be the Two of uh, Cups. Third card that is going to be what um, is going to be the helping aspects for Scorpio, or the positive aspect that weeks uh, that this week is giving to Scorpio. We do have the Five of Pentacles. And the last card, which is the guidance that Saro has for Scorpio, that will be the King of Pentacles. So once again, Two of Wands, it is the topic, followed by the Two of uh, Cups, which is the uh, challenge. Then it is the Five of Pentacles, that it is the positive aspect. And lastly, we do have the King of Pentacles, that is the guidance. So, um, uh, you guys... Uh, First of all, we Scorpios, it does look like that this week is going to be more on the, um, how do you say it, forging alliances type of a, a, a week where we may be apprehensive, you know, to forge such of an alliance. So the first card that we do have, which is the topic, that is the Two of Wands. And what the Two of Wands as a very general meaning says is that we are likely to find ourselves on a, a good achievement path, meaning that, you know, um, slowly but steady for some, all of a sudden, who knows, uh, things which are trying to, which we are trying to develop are finally start taking on a turn into the better. However, with the Two of Wands, while we are sitting, on a well-established path, you know, and we are improving what we already have and, and kind of like are making progress into our career or progress into our relationship. This card also points that we need to start thinking of how we can expand on that or in a different way said, it is how we can further develop our extraordinary either skills, knowledge, you know, or potential that is. Uh, the accompanied card here, this is going to be the Five of Swords. So the, the combination that we do have, it is active, uh, active Friends. And Five of Swords as a, um, a card that adds shades to the Two of Wands, it does point that this week we kind of need to find our way, how to expand our limits, how to expand our capabilities as well. And... Um, how can I really say it? And in generally to start thinking big, to start thinking how we can achieve certain goal that which goal we couldn't think of achieving until this very moment. And that will happen, like I said, through forging a alliances, either with your coworker, you know, it could be with a friend of yours, 
and uh, so on and so forth. But these couple of cards, Scorpio, are asking you to become a, a true warrior. So uh, what is the differences in between a brave and legendary warrior in between tr and true warrior? Well, the legendary and brave warrior fights every battle and most likely being slain into a, a very young age. While the true, the true warrior carefully chooses its battle and jump only into those that the warrior itself, it's 100% sure that it's going to win. You know, some people say that cowardness, other people say that survival, others are saying progress. It's saying it progress. So, yeah, it's kind of like this week you will have this uh, kind of like um, option available to choose your own battles and you need to do that carefully. Choose only those that you can definitely win. Uh, the next card, which is the... Um, challenge which you gotta face throughout the week that is two of cups and when two of cups comes as a challenge it does point to uh, being apprehensive of um, like i said making communication or bridge or forging in an alliances and as well it could come as a disruption into one's environment the peacefulness into one's environment what I'm trying to say here is, is that it could come as a, your uh, the field into your career, for example, in the interaction with your uh, co-workers that is may become a little bit more hectic. And in the same time, when it comes to personal relationship and friendships, this uh, relationship or how can I place it? Communication also may come a little bit more um insecure as you would like to be so in that specific case what the challenge is going to be for you is to maintain the communication or bridge so talk about it you know um how do you say it make other people be aware of your presence as well especially if you want to keep up a an interaction with a person of interest someone that you want to be with all right and they don't text you well if they don't text you text them first it's simple as that with this card. So the challenge is going to be shyness and being apprehensive to make a, a contact with people. The accompanied card of the two of pentacles, that is going uh, two of cups, excuse me, that is going to be the nine of pentacles. So only threatens the negative aspect of the two of pentacles, pointing here that you may start thinking that you are way too good on, its, on your own accord. And while that could be true, you know, uh, it's not going to hurt you if you attract more people to work for you. That is what we are seeing with these cards. Additionally to that, um, <clears throat> If you seek cooperation instead of soul play, it does look like that you will have much more business endeavors to jump in, you know, talking about uh, career or much more options available when it comes to interacting with people in regards to Romans. The uh, Nine of Pentacles here points as well that should you be smart about it, you can... Um, set up someone to take care of you as well uh, as we do have these cards it's just you need to uh, overcome that um, sense of, of of shyness and as well um confidence that you can do things on your own accord and i definitely can see that because i'm like this you know i'm generally very i cannot say shy you know but i am not very interactive when it comes to um tackling with people on a daily basis so um, that being said going to the next card which is the positive aspect of the week that is to be the five of pentacles so on a positive note five of pentacles it does point that you will have the eager uh, the, the vigor excuse me and the um, determination to deal with as much problems that you are carrying on until this very moment as possible five of pentacles also points that as I said, forging alliances, you can definitely find a person who is in a similar situation as you are and combining forces, you can definitely achieve a greater things that, than you are achieving on your own accord. That is described here by two people. <clears throat> 
running away uh, from the winter. So definitely, you know, you can find someone which shoulder you can use as a support, a shoulder that you can truly lean on should you face any, for example, financial needs or a, a performance needs or in general, you know, a help, helping hand to make the things for you much more easier. But also the Five of Pentacles, it does point that you will rely a lot on your uh, keen mind instead of your emotional state. And that will allow you to find rather brilliant resolutions to your current plights and current prob problems as well in regards to either your career or either your relationship. The accompanied card that is going to be the um, High Priestess. So the combo here is a, a passive, uh, passive friends. And what the High Priestess adds as a shade to the Five of Pentacles is the deeper understanding that, that uh, these trifles that you will have to deal with for, throughout the week are uh, yours to deal with. What I mean is that you cannot simply neglect them because they are to haunt you uh, for the rest of your life, for example, until they are not dealt with. So better early than later, it is what I would like to say. And that these, basically what these cards are pointing, that you will not leave this time around um, your responsibilities for the last minute. And I kind of see that for myself because I am kind of like such a guy, you know, I leave everything for the last minute. And many people, I can't say many people, but some people really don't hate me for that. And I could name at least a couple of them. But yeah, it does look like that this is not going to be your weakness this week. And it seems that you will understand the full seriousness of those trifle and plights. And it kind of like you are to attend to them straight away as they appear. It could also relate to responsibilities, all right, instead of plights and problems, that could be many responsibilities popping up here and there, and you are taking them as they come around instead of leaving them for a later resolution. And the last card that we do have for you, Scorpio, that is to be the guidance here, and we have the King of Pentacles. So guidance-wise, uh, this card advises you to only invest into things that has things uh, that has something in return for you. As a matter of fact, that have more than you invest in return for you. While the King of Pentacles is a generous person by nature, it is not a charitable person into na um, on as nature. So the King of Pentacles only does things when there is benefit for him, and you need to learn that as well. Do not do things for free, especially if you are good at them which kind of correlates with expanding your skills, expanding your knowledge. So the card itself here points Scorpio that you will have an opportunity to expand on your skills and to develop further, you know, those amaz uh, amazing uh, qualities of yours as well. Additionally to that, the card also asks you to bring connections into the matter, friends and connections into the matter, which again speaks for forging alliances with people do, that do have a, a similar goal of yours. But the most important thing what the King of Pentacles asks you to do, guys, is to consolidate on the current work that you are doing before you actually stray for a new enterprises in your life. The King always lays a, this King specifically, always lays down a, a very solid foundation before they can actually, before they actually think to attract a new endeavors into their lives. So they don't get, dis uh, not disappointed, but uh, caught by a surprise that something isn't working or there is a, a details that they have overlooked. So make sure that there is not a single detail in your relationship life or into your career life that you are overlooking before you actually take advantage of these new um, enterprises. And the accompanied card here, that is to be the... Uh, Knight of Swords, so the combo is passive, uh, passive enemies, and these cards are pointing that uh, if you say if you take your time, uh, actually there is only one way how you can decide upon your enterprises. At the start, what I mean here is, is that at the start they could be baffling. For example, 
you know, an opportunity could come around and it does look a, a very optimistic at the start. But if you take the time to think about it, you will see that you are actually going to invest more than you are going to get from it. All right. So uh, when it comes to decision, uh, decision making time here throughout this week, you always you always have to think first and foremost for yourself and what you're gaining from it. And then, you know, think of um how the performance or should you in generally invest in it um, <clears throat> as a um, as general so uh, that being said Scorpio it does look like that this week is going to be a week of expansion a, a week of growth through you guys forging alliance, alliances and uh, associating yourself with people that can help you people that can bring you out of your plights people that in generally or a an um yeah, people that in general can serve their purpose uh, in your life. And there are such around you. You just need to look around yourself. But above everything else, Scorpio, it is time for us guys to expand on your limits and on your capability and on our capabilities as well. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for May 6th to May 12th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other uh, around. Until then. Bye.